Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you five of my favorite low carb and healthy meals that I like to cook for myself and my family. I know what you're thinking. It's January, I need to be healthier, probably need to lose some pounds. I'm thinking the same thing too about myself. So that's kind of what inspired this video. I'm trying to share with y'all some healthier meals and I'm trying to keep these as low cost as possible. Thank you to ButcherBox for sponsoring this video. I am so excited to share with you about ButcherBox. For the longest time, I have wondered about this company. I have seen it everywhere and I always tell myself, Ugh, I can't afford that. I was totally wrong. So let me explain. If you click the link and sign up down below, new members are going to be receiving a free pork butt, two pounds of ground beef, bone and chicken thighs, and free shipping on your first box. So make sure to check that out down below. Butcher Box is a wonderful company that not only cares about animals and what you eat, but they also care about the livelihood of farmers. All of their meats average out to about $6 a meal, which is about what I already pay at the grocery store. They are flexible. You can cancel at any time and you can choose to have it shipped to your house at any time that you feel it is convenient for yourself. They offer a 100% grass-fed beef, organic chicken, heritage breed pork, and wild-caught seafood all in their boxes. And there are several different boxes that you can choose from that fit your lifestyle. Most boxes are about $130 to $150 a month, and you may be thinking, whoa, that's too much for me, Abby. I cannot afford that. Well, if I'm already spending $35 a week times four weeks in a month, that's over $130. It's actually what I'm already paying in meat, but super high quality. So all of this meat is actually way better for me. It's better for the environment and it's already the same price that I'm paying for low quality meat at the nearest grocery store. Down below in the description box, I am going to leave the details and the link to get your very own butcher box. If you sign up with the link down below, you are going to receive the keto bundle for the new year. I am going to get into this. I'm going to share with you the meals that I'm cooking. They're all really good, really healthy. The meat makes it even better. You can make these vegetarian if you please. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so for this meal, I chose the chicken thighs. It has one to three thighs in each pack. I took this out to thaw this morning from frozen. I'm going to spray my pan, put this down and chop it up, layer it with pico, top it in mozzarella and let it cook in my oven. And we're gonna eat this on corn tortillas. So I'm going to be using the ground beef tonight. This is one pound. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you my healthy spaghetti. Um, I'm gonna be cooking these for my family. I really like this brand from Aldi, the organic. It's really only like a dollar, it's super cheap. But I'm gonna be doing spaghetti squash because I'm trying to cut down on the carbs a little. And I'm gonna show you how to cook it easily. Um, and then I picked this up. This is my first time trying it, but I wanted to try it because this is supposed to be like super healthy and like really good ingredients. 
I think people use this on like Whole30. So let's give it a try. All right, so put your trivet in your Instant Pot. I coat mine with salt and pepper. Okay, set it like this. Cook it for seven minutes. All right, so this is how I cook mine. The Instant Pot is the best and easiest way to cook it. But you can also do it in the oven. I think you can also do it in a crock pot. I just Google Instant Pot spaghetti squash. All right, so these are steaming hot and you've got to be really careful. Don't mix the sauce, keep it separate so you can put some on yours and then put some on your family's. I saved the other half for lunch the next day at work, so just keep that in mind. Shirts are finally gonna be available in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned for that. All right, so I just did a workout, I'm trying to be healthier, and I'm about to cook dinner, and this is what we're having tonight. All right, so I've got chicken breast, one to two is fine. Um, broccoli, ricotta, mozzarella, a little bit of marinara, and some pasta. So you do not have to get this. This is a more expensive, but this is a healthier version. Um, but you can actually just do like regular pina pasta. Um, but it's got more protein and uh, less carbs. So I'm gonna cook this, throw it together, kind of like a casserole. And I hope y'all enjoy this one because it looks yummy. So it's early, we're gonna make a quick um, sweet potato <sighs> breakfast hash brown casserole type thing. So I'm going with sweet potatoes to make it healthier, green onions, diced tomatoes. Come on, bell pepper, get with it. And some eggs.
right. And the last meal is going to be like a ground beef stir fry. And instead of putting it on brown rice like I usually would, I'm gonna try to put it with quinoa, but you can use any grain that you want or you could just eat it how it is. All right, so I'm working with the ground beef again, frozen broccoli, I've got some frozen spinach, and some mixed vegetables. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Make sure to click the link in the description box to get your very own butcher box delivered to your doorstep. Stay tuned for the next couple of videos. I'm going to be sharing with you some more healthy lifestyle tips that I have been trying out and adjusting to in 2021. Maybe some Olive Garden recipes to make it home to. There's a lot of good things that coming up the rest of January. I will see y'all again next time. Bye everybody. Ha <laughs>